We've been working on the van for the last few months and decided it was time for a break. My birthday was fast approaching, so it was time to pack our bags and hit the road. It's early Saturday morning and we have a very long way to go to North Wales. There's quite a few things to do first. First thing, we need to get some fuel. Second thing we need? Coffee. Got the coffee and now it's a really long drive. We've done our first hundred miles and it's time to get some food. What are we getting? Don't know, I don't know what's actually in here. Yeah, let's go and check it. It's a bit foggy today. Baps and we're getting back on the road. Well, it's just four and a half hours. Six and a half hours later, we arrived to the zip world. So, we had some time to kill before our activity and we were quite hungry, so we decided to check out the calf for some snacks. So, how do you feel? You're old now and you're about to go do kids activity. <laughs> Not long and it was our time to go in. Before getting underground we had a quick safety induction. The helmet's really stinky. <laughs> <laughs> then we made our way through the old mining tunnels until we finally reached Bounds Below. Six trampoline style nets built into an area twice the size of St Paul's Cathedral. Let the fun begin. Oh my god. Well, I've got an injury. You've got an injury? I'm pretty sure I've got friction burn from the net. I kind of like jumped and then like yeeted forward when you went bouncing oh, that yeah. first time. I just sprung forward and my wrist just went, oh well. That was fun, man. I was I'm really worried it was going to be a bit boring. Not boring, but you know, like when you're jumping around for five minutes and you think, oh, okay, I'm done with that now. But it was, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It's, stupid. It's good fun, but it's yeah. really exhausting. It's not especially when you've driven all day, not eating anything. What's next? Maybe we'll go see. off if they've got a slot. We're gonna go find out, see if yeah. they've got any slots for us. We'll see. There's no more attraction for us. Yeah, but look at the weather. Like, why is that? I mean, this rain is refreshing now after this <laughs> bouncing. It's quite crazy. So, we decided to finish the day by visiting one of our most favourite places in Snowdonia. It's such a spectacular and easy walk to the lake that's surrounded by mountains. It is a beautiful evening. The sun is setting down behind the mountain. Peaks have still got some snow. It's not cloudy. Oh, look at the tremor. Oh, I wish I can climb this now. But it's too late. It is a bit chilly, but once you're walking, it's not that cold. We're not far. The lake is located within a glacial amphitheater known as Coom Idwal. This lake is surrounded by towering cliffs and steep slopes, adding to the dramatic scenery of the area. The walk to the lake is very easy and it's perfect for someone who's looking for a short walk in a beautifully spectacular place. Let's go back to the hotel and have a good rest. We need to go get some food after. Yeah, we do. Next morning, it's quite all right weather. I think it's bearable. No, not too wet. But before we head to the mountains, we need to get some breakfast. Yes. Let's 
essentials. Uh, so we've got a few bits for a hike. The, the background looks so sick. The clouds are literally just sitting on the mountains. So hopefully, maybe we're gonna have some nice views, maybe not. Oh, we'll that. see. Let's get there. And we're here. We're gonna try to conquer this one today. You ready? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, so let's change to the walking boots and we start the hike. Started at half past ten, good three hours, and we'll be down back at the same spot. I'm not trusting that. <laughs> no, eager to be honest, it depends. Knowing what you're like, it's going to be about six hours. Last time I've done this hike, I've done it in under three hours, but I literally just went up and down straight away. So mm. we'll see. The thing is, at the moment, we can see that that peak is covered in cloud. <laughs> we can see a couple other peaks. Uh, the only one concerning thing is. They still got some snow, so I can imagine they're still quite chilly there. <laughs> I feel so under underdressed for the snow again. Yeah, and the thing is, it's been a while. We've been working on Flossy for so long that we haven't been on a proper hike for like at least, I would say, half a year. Yeah, I would say. A successful hike anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how this one goes. But our goal is to, I think, reach the top if you can see some nice views from the top i think mission is completed correct i believe that is true so less talking more climbing <laughs> we'll see how long it's gonna last and we're gonna be out of breath I mean, not far off that already <laughs> Here? Yeah. I'm not making that. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yep. Nice. <laughs> that was really scary. <laughs> right. Can you tell that you're out of breath now? Yeah. I can still see the car. That's yeah. the sign. Well, I think the weather is like mm. perfect. Perfect. Like, My hands aren't cold. I'm not cold. And hopefully by the end we might see some use. We can kind of see that these clouds are kind of clearing out. They're going that way. But the views are amazing now. Anyway. Yeah. We're heading into are this we going cloud. Up there? We're gonna go on the side and we're gonna yeah. walk on the side. But we going in that cloud. Okay. Still a long way to go, but I'm feeling nice Me so too. far. So let's push it. The sun is coming out. Feels really nice. I just asked the people who were going down how it's up there. And apparently there's snow, which you can't see at the moment because it's... Do we think that that might be a false summit? Oh yeah, that's not the summit. <laughs> Bum. Yeah, so we're going to see snow up there. First time this year? Yeah, first time this year. So far it's really warm. I I'm too hot now. I would... It's saying something that my hands aren't cold, Phil. Oh yeah. Usually it's really... they're freezing. Yeah. Well, I do want to touch snow now. So <laughs> my goal, get to the summit make a snowball and throw it to Emily. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I was about to say, if you want to throw that at me, it's going to be, it's going to be ice. You're going to <laughs> yeah, break it's going to be ice. You're going to knock a tooth out. of ice. <laughs> well, let's carry on. There's still quite, quite a lot to go. <sighs> Is that 
the summit up there. No. Huh? That's the full summit. Well, that one right up there? Yeah, that's the full summit. Oh, where the f is the summit? We've done the first scramble. Oh, look at these views now. Oh. It oh. is a beautiful day. I couldn't have asked for better weather. If it rains now, I don't care. at the top. We decided that we're not gonna do a full view. We're gonna summit this one and we're gonna head down. It's cold and don't have any phones or anything. We'll be happy with just the summit. We made it wow. and the sun's coming out. Last push. Yay! Oh it's lovely up here. It's lovely isn't it? Look at this 360 view. just got back probably to the one of the most picturesque stairs uh, or steps in Snowdonia. We're just gonna have a quick lunch break and we're just gonna appreciate the views. made it. Hey! We're back to the car. Each time after we climb a mountain we need to rate it. So what, what would you rate it in this one then? I'd give that a solid 8 out of eight. 10. Yeah. Shall we come up with a rating uh, a difficulty Careful. weather conditions at that moment when we climbed? Yes and terrain. Terrain yeah. Difficulty weather terrain. So difficulty. Eight. I think it wasn't difficult. I would say oh, no. 6. 6 yeah. Yeah, yeah 6. Weather? Eight. Eight for weather. Eight. And I would say about a seven for terrain. Completed it. Completed it. And we'll see you next time. I'm talking with the mountain here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see you next time. See you mountain. next time. Mountain. It's the last day of our trip. So oh. our last destination is going to be Upper Falls. We just arrived to the car park. It is a pay and display car park. Let me check what's the charge. This is the closest car park to the waterfall. And oh, so it's five pounds all day. The car park is literally like two kilometers away from the waterfall. So it's really not far away. Let's pay for a car park first. Let's go. So Emily is quite good at this, so she's gonna give you uh, some uh, nice facts about this waterfall. Yeah, um, I've done my research. So basically, there's a lot of water falling, <laughs> and thus it's called a waterfall. What? <laughs> <laughs> How high is Did it? Did you know that? It is about that high. It's actually 120 feet. I know that it gets up the top on the waterfall and um, there might be a really nice uh, place for a dip. I'm really not going to do this at this time of the year. But we thought about it. Right, okay, when I said it's easy to walk, I mean it's quite steep and I'm out of breath. It's fine. That was the steepest part of this walk probably. From there, it's just flat. I don't 
don't think See, this. Look. These are the OG Crocs. OG Crocs. Crocs. Can we Crocs here? Oh, they harvest wood to make shoes. Imagine how uncomfy they would be. Yeah, so apparently they found some Iron Age pre settlement here or something like that. And I got the wood for Crocs. There she is, in all her glory. So, I'm really gonna hit with another fact about the waterfall now. Yes, I am. And that fact is that people came to visit this waterfall before the Victorian times. So uh, it's been a popular visitor destination for a very long time. You can definitely see why. So we just look at that. And Ava Falls means big waterfall. Yes, three <laughs> facts. Pew, pew, pew. We can see why it's very popular. That's it. That was a before. And that was lovely. It was nice to see it in a different season. Yeah, it's Although really it nice. has picked up cold, is really. Well, we were expecting that the clouds going to clear up a bit, but it didn't. Well, it's quite chilly now. Yeah, <laughs> but that's going to be it for today. And uh, now we we're got just a make real a long slog yeah. home. We have a really long drive home now, so we hope you enjoy watching it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.